name's Kieran and this is my 2004 Triumph Bonneville T100. Triumph Bonneville, that's original. But in all seriousness, the reason why these are such popular bikes is that they literally cover the spectrum. Not only do they look great, they're a great commuter bike, uh, you can take tours around Europe with it, and really is an all-in-one machine. So a little background on how I got into biking and a little bit about my Triumph Bonneville. Uh, my dad actually took my mum out on a date one evening and uh, he came back with a motorbike. For me, that was the green light to go in and purchase my very own. It's been a labour of love for both of us. He'll come over, we'll crack a few beers and we'll get the angle grinder out. Aesthetically, the dimensions are perfect. There isn't another bike that I would choose to own. So with that, let me take you around the bike. Right, starting from front to back. I've got the Metzler tyres on, which I find are super sticky and great all round. Leading up to the front mudguard. This is the original unit, which I've cut and shaped and sprayed because I love the short bobber look. From there, we've got the front indicators. Um, these had to be relocated. Reason being, I wanted the whole front end to be no higher than the handlebar mount. So what I had to do was um, flip the original cluster which I sprayed and straightened out. Um, so again, still keeping it original. That leads us to the headlight bucket, um, which has been sprayed black, along with a yellow lens and the front mesh guard. The reason it had to go lower, because, I, because of the clocks were dropped and the rectifier had to be relocated to the frame, along with the ignition, just on the other side. Up towards the bars, these are Harley Davidson drag bars, cut to the same length as original Triumph ones with some bar end mirrors. From there we've got the tank. Um, I was I'm in an iron about the idea of spraying the tank maybe a satin or a matte black, but it would be complete sacrilege to destroy this wonderful work on the pinstripe which is hand done in Hinkley. Um, but I did spray the badges black because well I think they look cool. From there we've got down to the headers which have been wrapped in a titanium wrap mainly because I think they look great and again, help with discoloration. Onto the tips, which are slash cut tips. Um, originally I ran these without baffles, except it was so loud, it made no sense, so I put some baffles in. We've got the MX style pegs. Um, I just love these pegs. I find them a lot more grippy and, and they're awesome. Up from the pegs, we've got the rear indicator units, which have been moved on to the rear shocks. Reason being, it completely helps clear the rear end of the indicators where they would usually be. Diamond stitched leather seat, um, which is custom made from a company down in Brighton. The rear fender, um, again, is an original unit. What I've done was I cut and shaped it, and I've actually continued to follow the line all the way down to the back there. Cheeky little brake light and a number plate for show use only, of course. Last touch worth talking about is the chain guard, which is the original unit, which I've drilled holes in it and sprayed it black, and obviously gone with the pillion pegs as well, because, hey, I don't carry pillions. Uh, pretty much this how it is standing right now, but with any sort of project bike, it's never truly finished. Let's uh, hear how she sounds.